so hello everyone in this particular video we will try to understand that why bjt is known as ccs and why jeffrey is known as vccs so the full form of ccs is current control current source and the full form of vccs is uh, voltage control current source okay so uh, uh, yeah we'll talk one by one for bjt we know that uh, uh, by just uh, increasing or decreasing the uh, base current we are controlling the output current okay so this is our base current this is our output current ic and ie which is almost equivalent to ic okay and we know that since we had covered most around 70 to 80 percent of uh, 80 percent part of bjd so up till now we know that uh, that uh, ic is almost equivalent to beta times iv okay that means if our IB is increased, okay, then our IC also increases by some factor and it is known as gain, okay. This is known as gain. Now we will try to design uh, an equivalent model, okay. We will try to design, okay. So we know that emitter is common. So this is a common terminal emitter. First of all, I will write the name of each terminal so that you will understand better. Way. This is emitter, this is base, and this is a collector. Okay. So okay. So I will draw emitter first. Okay. So this is the emitter terminal. Now I will draw the base terminal. Okay. So. This is a base terminal which is connected to emitter. Okay, it is not you know correctly uh, true or correctly uh, sorry fully correct or not fully true. But since for our better understanding, I am drawing it in much simpler way so that you will understand it in much better way. Okay, so what we are seeing over here at this particular terminal that uh, okay, so this is our IB. Good. And uh, now we'll just see at this terminal. We are covered with this one. Now we'll go with this one. Okay. Uh, okay. So I will be drawing collector terminal over here. So this is collector, and I am seeing a current flowing from collector. So I will represent it in this way. Okay. So. This is IC, which is beta times IB. Okay, now you can easily relate that we are giving some input voltage. Okay, this is our VE, and we are controlling our output current. Okay, with the help of input current, and this was our V out. Okay, you can clearly see here from this uh, diagram that. Okay, if our IB is increased, then our IC is also increased. Okay, I hope you are understanding it very well. So this was our base terminal, this was our collector, and this was our gate. Oh, sorry, emitter. So by you know just looking at this diagram, I hope uh, you understood this, understood it very well. Now we will move to the uh, JFET one. Uh, sorry, JFET. So in JFET, what we the basic working of JFET, we know that we are supplying some negative and positive voltage to the source and negative voltage to the gate. So we are giving VGS, okay. And you know by varying VGS, we are controlling our output current that is ID, okay. So in short, we can say that uh, uh, the VGS is or basically our ID is directly proportional to VGS. Okay. Now we'll see the um, model of JFET. Okay. Okay. 
so we can uh, first of all i will like to know name the terminal so this was our train terminal this is our gate terminal and this is our source terminal okay now in this particular figure we are seeing that our source is common okay so i will keep source common now uh, uh, so we will keep first of all we will keep so our source common okay so we have kept our source common now we will uh, use a gate voltage to represent it in, in this way okay okay now what we are saying is that we are applying some voltage vgs which is over here see we are applying this vgs similarly we will apply vgs this is vgs okay now what we are seeing at the output or basically at the train terminal so this is my train terminal i am getting some current okay so this current is id drain current or drain to source current so this was our gate terminal this was our uh, drain terminal and this is our source terminal okay so here also we can clearly see that by varying the input voltage okay this was our v in and as you can see it, see that v in is parallel with vgs okay so v in is equals to vgs so by varying the input voltage we are also varying the output current okay so thus we can conclude that uh, vgs is directly proportional to vds and due to this reason so okay in vgt we saw that our out, uh, sorry input current was controlling the output current that's why we termed that we termed it as a current controlled current source okay and similarly for jfet our voltage is controlling the current at the output that's how we termed it as a voltage control voltage uh, sorry current source voltage control current source uh, so i hope you understood this concept very well okay thank you